<clears throat> so this succulent desperately needs to be repotted. I like the pot that it's in. Looks like Stonehenge. It has a little face on it. it. Has a hole at the bottom, but it's not a very good pot for this succulent. <clears throat> so take the stones out. Okay. much as I can. And then, hey, has some fairly good roots. thinking about putting it in this pot here and but it doesn't have a hole and which could be fine it could be fine I just would have to remember to not water it so much it's a succulent so it shouldn't necessarily need that much water so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take these stones and put those at the bottom. Put some of this drier stuff at the bottom too. Watching Laura Hubanks, Hubanks on uh, <clears throat> YouTube, and she's really had me into succulents. She lives in San Diego, California, which, I mean, the things that she's able to do with succulents is kind of amazing. But she lives in, as she calls it, the um, um, well, I can't say how she, what she exactly says because. It's late and I don't remember, but it's pretty much she lives in a space where it's like perfect for growing succulents <clears throat> without it being any issues, you know. Succulents like to be hot and dry. I'm going to use some of this miracle Grow potty mix for cactus palms and citrus. I don't really, I'm not really a fan of the MG. But uh, I'm going to use it today. I'm just going to fill up the rest of this <clears throat> pot with this stuff. And it's pretty moist. I, I won't water this um, succulent at all for at least a few weeks. Because I don't want it to rot. And when I do water it, it'll be so little. The fact that this pot doesn't have a, a hole shouldn't be an issue but I've I've messed up things in the past so I wouldn't be surprised if it if it if it rots and it dies but you know what can you do um, if you check out the other video you'll see I, I did this one which is kind of cool uh, so I added the little Some dead wood in there. I don't know. It's kind of cool. But anyway, back to this one. This pot is pretty cool. It has like a like a penny. It looks like a penny. It has like a coppery finish to it. I wish it had a hole, but it doesn't. And I could drill a hole, but I'm not. Um, I'm going to just wing it. And I think that in this pot with it's triangular shaped leaves this has triangular shapes i think it, it'll be very nice <clears throat> and then i have some um another little thing i got from uh miss uh laura H hubanks 
is using fire glass, which I've never heard of before, but it's pretty cool. As you can see, I have a little bit in this pot. It's like chunks of glass. Some are has like mirrored finish on some sides. It's like if you bust a car window out. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of if you're from the city. Um, there's always that, that, I call it hood glitter in the middle of the street. <clears throat> it has like a really uh, iridescent, <clears throat> excuse me, quality to it, but it's, you know, the, the small chunks of um, glass, you know, when you break a windshield, it breaks into those little pieces. So anyway, this fire glass has that same type of mesmerizing quality of the hood glass, but um, what it is, um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, to understand it correctly, it's glass that you would use in like a fire pit. It can withstand like high temperatures and stuff like that. So it has like that really modern look um, in fire pits. That's why it's called fire glass. She uses it as top dress for pots. And in that, you know, very warm climate she's in it, 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 it could um, be quite nice. It is quite nice. You should check out her channel. But anyway, so I'm going to dig a hole here. And she always says... If uh, if it stands, you did your job. So I've I've learned. I've watched most of her videos. I kind of binge watched her channel for the last week or so. So I told you I've, I'm in like a little succulent little mood lately, and I'm using what I have. I have succulents that are just here, and um. There are no special pots. I have a few over here. You can probably see them. I'm sorry, my begonia is in the way. But um, yeah, they're over there. And um, I showed them love um, every now and again. But yeah, so that's pretty much what I wanted uh, it to look like. Just, just weird thing in this pot. And I think I'm a top dress. No, I know for sure. I'm going to top dress it with that fire glass and that'll be it. Um, and I'll give it a little bit of water every now and again. Right now, I think I'll just moisten the top of the soil. I didn't even have to do that, but I did it. I'm going to wipe off this uh, pot here and I'm going to call it done. Um, Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much done.